YouTube, what's up? So today, I ain't got a whole lot going on. Just hanging around the house. It's Memorial Day weekend. Everybody's out on the lake. All us people that live here, we'll go out on the lake this afternoon or tonight. But yeah, we're just hanging out and chilling. Ladies! All the chickens is doing good. As you can see, there ain't too many out in the sun right now. They're all in that box to the left. But they're doing good. Looks like I need to give them some water though. Ladies, what's good? Y'all got water. Let me go get y'all's grain and uh, we're gonna give you some extra greenery today. How about that? So I was looking at the baby chickens and I realized they need to be moved on fresh grass. So we'll do that this afternoon. If y'all remember earlier in the video, this was all covered with dirt and mud. And right now I'm sweeping it up with a shovel and a, a hoe. That way it won't rot on me. All right, I got most of the stuff cleaned off the porch of the barn here. Let me turn it around and show you how much I got done. As you can see, a little before and after, it looks a whole lot better. It's not a uh, 100%. But it's a much better. Still got a little bit of work to do, but my dad can help me out when he gets back home. Since I'm right here by the next lot, let's see if I got any more eggs. You never know. Sorry, I can't count. I got four over here. Just forgot any over here. Oh, get over there. Yep. Well, that weren't too bad. That's enough eggs for today. We just got the baby chickens on fresh grass, as you can see, they are loving it. We're working on the tractor again. It'll be done one day. I put the uh, red folders over the food bowl so they don't just sit there, or perch there rather, and poop in it all night. Because clearly, you see they can get up on it. Oh, okay, it's uh, Mother-in-law real good. I really appreciate my dad helping me out. All right, we got it all put together, all the panels on, just like I envisioned. The only thing left, ideally, would be some wheels and a rope 
to a toilet with. I'll get the rope. It's the wheels. I ain't quite figured out yet. Well, it's next morning. Seems like hell on you. So now the night in the new tractor. That's good. Let's take a look at them. Everybody's doing good. Pretty sure. Some of them are in the corner sunning. Some of them are getting some food. But I gotta uh, give them some water. They ain't got no water. I got some watermelon. I'm gonna uh, get the chickens. They love it. So let me do that while dad is getting some water to the baby chickens. Watermelon. Before I go in the house, let me check on the eggs. We got a few eggs. It looks like they busted one. Everyone is enjoying the watermelon. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, let's go check on the great decisions. And then I'll show you what I got going down in the barn. Everybody is doing good. They were looking for shade earlier, but now they got plenty of them. Last night, I was watching YouTube, and a lady had an electric fence similar to what I had. And but inside, she had a barrier to keep the leaves off her electric fence. Hers happened to be T-post and cattle panel. But what I had, and my dad had the idea, is I got these wooden stakes here and the roofing plastic from the tractor. So he just pounded them in the ground and put the plastic up against them. And then he uh, screwed the plastic into the wood and it's where he can drink. Every now and then, when they throw a piece of wood on it, it makes a loud noise and they quit for a minute. But other than that, they are loving it. My only concern is if they get bored trying to sit on the, on the plastic, I don't know if they will or even can, and then trying to jump the fence. But there's enough entertainment in here they shouldn't get bored. As you can see, my dad put some greenery up at the top end and some of the chickens have already found that. My dad and I had done some cleaning down here in the barn. It looks way better. As you can see, we got all the feed bags stacked up in the corner right there. I got all the feed. Where it goes, I got back in the white bucket. We got the corn in the trash can. All the feed buckets lined up. Seems like I need to turn the ventilator off. So tomorrow, 
we're going to clean up this corner get it all taken care of as well as empty out the uh, cattle trough. I have one of my subscribers ask me, what is that popping noise in your videos? It's that electric fence, y'all. Most of us homesteaders, if you listen, we got that little electric pop going on in all our videos. We got all the chickens in the uh, electric fence here, and this new wall is working out splendid. The reason that I let the voles air dry over there is that way when I put them together, there's no moisture to swell up the food so it can still free flow out. Uh, I don't soak any of their feed anymore. Uh, I just chose to go that route. It's a little later in the afternoon. I don't know if you can hear it, but these biddies are tripping. They sound like they're hungry. So let's get that uh, food bowl put together and some food back in it. It's good though, they know I'm the food man. So uh, you see they following me. Let me get the food and we'll just take care of it. Clearly, they were hungry. They had all that grass, but they wanted some food. So that's filled up. They'll eat, they'll calm down, it'll be fine, and they'll have a good evening. They got fresh water as well. My dad and I, we about to let the chickens back in the pen. We're gonna go have dinner. But uh, I thought, since we're gonna do this, I'll try to show you how this system works. Seems like it's calm down now. Everybody has some drain and some water. Something I noticed is they need, well they don't need it, but they would probably like another food bowl. So I may go grab that after the holiday's over. All right, y'all. We hope you enjoyed the video. As always, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Appreciate it.